Hiya, my name's Emma Wiley and I am Vicar of Boreham and a pioneer working in Bewley, the new estate north of Chelmsford. And my name's Andy Griffiths, I'm an adult educator working for the Diocese of Chelmsford and Mark has asked me to put together a video about the missiology of youth and children's work. Okay, so we're going to try and explain some words um, and then I'm going to set you some homework before we uh, meet for our session. Uh, but let's start with the future. So here's the first thing that I think we want to say. God is going to put the world right. And there will be no more pain or division or violence or hunger or COVID-19 when God puts the world right. And everyone will know and worship Jesus. They will be fully forgiven and fully forgiving. That is the world as it should be. When your spirit groans, that's what it's yearning for. But right now, the world isn't like that. Right now, there's a gap between the world as it is and the world as it should be. And that's where missiology comes in. So, missiology? Yeah, missiology. It's the study of mission. And mission is... Well, let's start with God's mission. God's mission is to turn the world as it is into the world as it should be. God's going to do that completely when he puts the world right, as you said. But he's already started through the life and death and resurrection of Jesus and through the church. That's through us. And I guess every time we pray the Lord's Prayer, we pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Uh, and that's kind of praying for that stuff to happen. Let, let, let up there come down here. Yeah, or, or let God's future become reality now. Okay, so God's mission is to change the world so that there is no hunger and no pain and no poverty and no sin and no unbelief and no lack of worship and no COVID and so on. Yeah, in Latin, the mission of God is the missio dei. And you'll see that phrase used a lot of times. Okay, so missio dei means the mission of God. But how about us? What's our mission? Well, our mission, the mission of the church, is to cooperate with the mission of God. Rowan Williams spoke about it, seeing that, uh, talked about seeing what God's doing and joining in. It's as it's simple and as complicated as that. Let's be realistic. Christians are a small but hopefully creative minority in our world. So often joining in with God's mission will mean becoming partners with other creative minorities. We can't do it all on our own. Okay. So we're a minority. There's lots of other minorities. Sometimes what God's doing in the world involves us as our Christian created minority, joining with another created minority down the road and together we'll do something which we will know, even if nobody else does, uh, is part of God's purpose for the planet. Um, yeah. Can you give an example of, of, of how that works in, in real life? Well, yeah, actually, we've had one here in, in Boreham, particularly um, during COVID-19 through the lockdown. Um, so right at the beginning, obviously, there was all the general chaos kicked off and everybody's trying to work out how do we help one another. Um, I'm relatively new here. I was trying to work out how do I engage with a community that I don't know yet? How do I make sure that the really needy people are getting their needs met? How do I make sure they know that the church is here and listening and, and open and alive, even though the doors are shut? Um, and meanwhile, the parish council were thinking, how do we still be the parish council? How do we make sure that the people that we're responsible for are uh, getting their needs met? And we're basically all sing and the school, we're doing the same thing. They're like, heck, we can't get anybody in our building, but we need to support our community. So interestingly, what was happening is that in three different major organisations in the village, the same conversations and thoughts were going on. Uh, and somebody got in touch with me and said, 
any idea how we can coordinate this you've coordinated things before and like i don't know but in my head what i'm saying is god's doing a thing here because here, an issue that's burning inside of me, but I don't have the capacity to address the entire issue, I mean, I don't know people here yet, um, is also burning inside other people. There's something going on in the side of other people. And so we, we came together and we formed one forum, which thankfully has not had to do a great deal yet, but is now poised as a wider community organization that holds three major institutions in the village together, ready to do work together. We've forged relationships, We've established all the difficult, boring stuff, like all the policies, all that's been done. We stand on solid ground now, ready to move forward. And that had been something that had been put on my heart before I even arrived here, that we needed to form something that coordinated us together. And there it is, bubbling up in God's time, God's mission, through people who are not necessarily only related to the church. So that's been an example. There's also been one on, on Bewley, my work in uh, Bewley, we uh, worked alongside the food bank and offered to become a place where people can bring their donations um, to keep the food bank going through through the COVID-19 uh, situation. Obviously, much more call on it and much more need and actually an outpouring. People are like, I've got stuff. I need to do something. I need to be able to help. Mm. So we agreed to host a food bank collection point and through that Dan who's over there hosting most weeks has been able to build relationships with the community that he's part of and as as the priest uh, who leads them um, St Francis over there he is now becoming even better known than he already was somebody wandered up to him the other day and asked to be baptized he hasn't had a great big session praying with them he hasn't even spoken the gospel to them he's acted it out in being present and being responsive and so he's caught the wave of what god was up to and god has taken what he offered and used it to uh do his work absolutely i, I love that uh, and I, I think, think so often um in mission we just work with whoever else is doing it to uh to try and work where we are with god to make the world a little bit more like it should be and will be. Mm. Uh, and we're almost surprised as we go along that as we do that, and we do it clearly and we, we, we do it unashamed of our faith. Absolutely. That that's the thing that people find is life giving and, and, and we find them starting to, 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 to come and, and join the community and worship and, start to follow Jesus in discipleship but um, understandably enough not many people will do that if we're not particularly bothered about changing the world I mean why would they want to get involved in an organization that seems more interested in preserving itself um, than it is in, in in God's plan to change the world okay so uh, thank you. I'm now clear. Mission starts with God's mission and then it continues with us cooperating with God. Now, now let's move to youth and children's workers because you see, I talk to youth and children's workers from time to time and what I sometimes hear from them is they have a sense that their job is either to keep children and young people coming to church or to get new children and young people to come to church so so how does that fit with mission yeah who said their job is to get young people and children to come to church their job is to cooperate with the mission of god that's all our jobs that's our primary thing god's doing his thing and we get to join in that's much more ambitious unfortunately and fortunately than getting people into church it's about changing the world as we said so that the world becomes just a little bit more the world that it should be so it's about catching god's wave and sometimes god's wave is increasing our numbers in church sometimes that's one of the things that we're up to and there are practical elements to that but that's not our primary concern our primary concern is to see the world changed and the kingdom flourish and that's so, God's mission. So it's not about church at all, maybe? Oh no, it's about, it is about church, 
but not because the church has a mission. It's not the church that comes first, but because, because the mission of God has a church. We are God's vehicle. Okay. It's the, the other way around from the way we so often see it. Church is one of the ways that God acts in the world to bridge that gap between the world as it is and the world as it should be. Okay. Uh, so now what about youth and children's workers just sort of loving children and young people uh, and helping them know God and, and giving them space to develop? Um, is there a danger that that's going to get lost in all this talk of mission and changing the world? Yeah, there's a, there's a good point there. We need, it seems, to find a way of doing youth work and children's work that both changes the world and cares for and grows children and young people that we're already working with. But I think I'd also argue that in growing and nurturing those young people, you are changing the world. So there's a, it's happening on both sides of the equation. It's not an either or, but a both and. And when we get together on September the 9th, without Emma, I'm afraid, but, 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 but I'll be there with you and I'm looking forward to it. Um, our task will be to try and craft an understanding of youth and children's work that, that does both things, that, that brings together this desire to change the world that started in the heart of God and that he shares with us, together with the right sense that we are also loving and caring for a, a, a group of children, young people who, whom God has given us. So um, here's where the homework comes up, because we're going to need your help. Could you bring, when we meet on September the 9th, could you bring a Bible story or passage or image, something that, 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 that sparks you, that does that job of helping you think about your work as a children's worker or youth worker? both involved in changing the world in mission and involved in caring for that specific group of young people whom God has entrusted to you. So, so I'm hoping that somebody will come along and say, I know this, there's this great example in the Bible um, where somebody is, is given a, um, a task that, that involves both the world and um, caring for a specific group of people or God working with that specific group of people. Or, and then somebody else said, oh, I like that. That wasn't the image I came up with, but I love to think of such and such an image. And for me, that expresses both halves of my calling to be both loving um, the small group that I'm working with and engaged in helping God to bring about God's big purposes in the whole world. And that image shows the two are not two separate things, but they're linked with one another. And if you do one properly, then the other comes more easily. So there you go. Look, nobody's going to get marked. There's no assessment in all this. Um, but I would love this uh, session when we get together to be driven by your Bible passages and images, and we will take them and play with them and together work out ways that they're meaningful for a missiology of youth and children's work. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank you for uh, joining me on this video and the rest of you. I'll see you on September the 9th. Bye.